guys, it's Eric with Monday Family Man. How you guys doing today? So as you guys can see, I got a snowblower. And uh, this video is gonna be about installing a impeller kit. And for you guys that already know what an impeller kit is and understand, just wanna see the installation, click right here. And uh, you can fast forward right to the installation part. But let's, uh, for those that don't know what impeller kit and those who are new to snow blowing, which I am also, this is the first year I've had one. Actually, I've never used a snow blower um, during a snowstorm. I've played with it. Um, this was actually given to me um, by a friend's neighbor who could not get this thing working again. Um, I believe it's a, I don't know what year. I think it, someone told me it was a 1978 um, Aaron's ST824. Um, I don't know if it's 1978, but it's quite old. Um, and he had it for 10 to 15 years and he couldn't get it working. Um, and I have a buddy that works on small um, engines. So um, he took a look at it. He was like, absolutely. He was giving this to me for free. He was like, okay, take it. I'll fix it up. So um, within two or three days, he had this thing up and running. It just needed the fluids changed. Um, but anyways, I did some research. And one of the biggest issues with the snowblower is the chute getting clogged. And after doing some further research, I found a solution so the chute does not get clogged as often. So what I've found online is something called a impeller kit. And for those that don't know what an impeller is, if you're new to snow blowing like I am, the impeller in a two-stage snow blower, there's the stage one, which everyone can see, and then there's a stage two inside that actually takes the snow and throws it out of the chute. So you can see here the impella spins around and oh, there it goes. And the impella will throw the snow out. The issue is this gap, okay, between the impella right here and the edge of the impella housing. So that's where ice and snow, especially wet snow, will build up and it will start clogging up if you don't have an impella kit. All right guys, so here's a different angle. You can see here's the impella, okay? And here's the impella housing. And as you can see, as it goes around, okay, you have, let me see, uh, maybe up here. All right guys, so you can see between this impella right here and this housing, there's like a half an inch gap. So what I'm trying to do is close that gap um, and you can't have metal on metal contact. So what we're doing is putting a piece of rubber. In. All right guys, here's the tools that you're gonna need for your Impella kit installation. First, you're gonna need the kit itself. And depending on how many Impella blades that you have, you need a piece of plastic or a piece of rubber. Um, for each one and I actually bought this kit offline and I'll put a link for that website in the description below but you can make this kit yourself um, just have if you have like rubber tires or if there's some type of belt um, I'll do some searching online where you can actually buy rubber like this and then you're going to need some type of wash on top of the plastic to help um, hold the plastic or the rubber to the impella um, I've seen people do individual washers and I've also seen people only do one bolt and one washer in the whole thing, which is I don't think that's enough support. Um, I'm going to be using bolts and nuts with locking um, nuts, but I've seen people also use just um, self-tapping screws. So I think this is a little bit more stable, a little bit, it'll last a little bit longer and less chance of it falling off. tools that you're going to need is some type of ratchet set, some drill bits like I have here, a drill itself, cutting devices, and definitely a piece of wood. Alright guys, for safety, make sure you unplug the spark plug. 
Alright guys, so the first thing that you want to do to make this easier is to actually remove this chute right here. Um, and you can see here on my unit there's 8 bolts. This little metal bracket is what the screws are being screwed into and holds the chute in place. Okay, so once you get all the bolts out, you should be able to pick this right up. There we go. And there's probably a bunch of grease down here, so you probably don't want to put this right onto the ground. All right guys, now that you guys can get a good look at the Impella, I can actually put this piece of plastic in, or a piece of rubber, and you kind of see where that's going to go, but you can see that this piece of rubber is too big. You don't need the rubber to go up on the bend, you just need it from here to where it starts to bend, and that's all you really need. So we're going to measure from here to about there. So you can see here from the edge to where the bend starts is probably about three and three eighths of an inch. So that's what I need to cut these things to. So you can see here are these plastic things are about four inches, a little shy of four inches. So I'm going to cut this down to three and three eighths. Um, right where the, um, right before the hole, but I'm okay with that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Here we go. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can see here it's not even, but that's fine. So now you can see, we can install it just like this. And what you wanna do is bump it up. See where there's a gap right there? You wanna take this and bump it up all the way. You might want to try to take this around a little bit, just make sure it's not hitting anywhere too much. You definitely, it's going to be hard to make it perfect, but a few um, repetitions of the impeller at full speed will definitely, um, you know, cut this rubber down to size. And you also want to do this with the metal. This is going to be a little bit harder to do. Got it. All right, guys, so you can see here, here's the washer. You can see that lines up perfect. Now, all we need to do is drill. So the best way to immobilize the impeller is actually install a piece of wood over the auger and under the impeller and then as you're drilling you want to step onto the piece of wood.
Alright, I think to make the other holes easier to drill, I think I'm going to put the first bolt in here. Alright, let's go ahead and put the nut in too. Just like that. All right, let's go drill these other holes now. Bam, there we go. This is what it looks like when you're all said and done. Now you just have to repeat the process and do this on each and every blade. Let's cut the rubber, cut the washers, drill the holes, install the bolts, and install the nuts. And then you will be ready for whatever Mother Nature throws your way. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next video.